Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love and romance reading for my dearest Pisces. Now guys, I'm going to be doing a reading. This can be for singles. This can be if you're coupled up or you're in some sort of situationship. Um, this is a reading for February 2021. And it is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Before I get started, Pisces, I'm going to ask that you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the description box if you would like a private reading, or if you like the decks that I'm using, I have them listed and linked in the description box down below. And also, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you guys get updates whenever I upload new content, which I'm doing quite frequently. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Pisces, let's see what's in store in your love lives look at that we've got justice some of you guys mm, you've got commitment contracts marriage on your mind um, it could also be a deep soul connection and for some of you it may be even twin flame energy you might be seeing 11 11 a lot as well Ooh, Pisces what is going on messages for my dear Pisces for love and romance February 2021 and we're gonna see the energies behind you the energies surrounding you and what's coming towards you all right, Pisces. All right, you guys are coming out of something very painful. When it comes to your love life, you guys are healing and clearing. Some of you guys are getting away from someone or a relationship that really didn't serve you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Swords. Some of you may have walked away from like a marriage or a commitment that gave you a lot of stability. You might be thinking about doing that as well. Temperance, but you're all about the healing and the balance. Yeah, look at this. Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Eight of Swords. Okay, so you guys are a little bit in your head about something, about moving forward. Okay, you may be dealing, oh, look at that. Oh, Pisces, there's a really big change on the horizon for you. And some of you guys are releasing like the pain associated with love and relationships, maybe even being single. Um, but it's like, there's this real healing energy, but I feel like you're in your head about it because it is a really big departure for you. All right, your overall energy is the six of pentacles. So this is about balance. The universe is really giving you a gift here. And that gift is something that you've been manifesting that you've been asking for. But I feel like you might have just been through so much SHIT Pisces when it comes to love and relationships or dealing with a particular person that it, it almost makes you uncomfortable to receive something really beautiful because you're, you're not trusting it. Okay, that's what I'm seeing, that you're second guessing it. But Pisces, you've got the lovers coming out. Again, you are dealing with a deep soul connection, maybe a twin flame. Um, we're getting double sixes coming out. You, some of you might have a life path number of six or dealing with somebody that does. But six is a Venusian number and it's about love. It's about compassion. It's about healing. Oh. So it's like there's a lot of overthinking in this reading, Pisces. But you're getting what you've been asking for. This is an equal exchange of love, time, energy, resources. And also a reminder that what you're looking for is looking for you. Some of you guys may be walking away from a situation that you were comfortable in, but that wasn't fulfilling and that's been really difficult. Okay, and then for others of you, you're doing something really different. You may have been single for quite some time, um, but there's somebody here that is making you rethink that. Like you want stability, you want commitment, you want partnership. You're going after, these are your wishes, Pisces, Nine of Cups. The universe is trying to deliver you <laughs> your happiness, what you've been wishing for, what you've been trying to manifest. And so what I'm getting, you know, and look at that, we get the Empress in reverse. You have, you've been in this energy of not getting what you've been asking for or not being open to receiving it for so long. That is really, it's kind of doing your head in. You're kind of freaking out a little bit, you know, in that mental space um, because it is such a departure for you. Okay. And it's not me like saying you ha you're not successful or you're, you know, there's something wrong with you. No, but it's almost like you can't, this energy is really like, this energy is so different than what you're used to that you're starting to sort of second guess it a little bit. So 
So I'm going to stop say, talking about that for a second because I feel like I'm rambling on here. But you guys are really coming to the end of a very painful cycle in your love lives or in your relationship. Again, you could be coupled up and it could be that you're leaving, you know, this, the difficulties behind. Um, this is about, you know, this is about releasing, releasing that poison, the detritus, the energy that's built up, you know, in your system when it comes to love and relationships. Okay. That's, that's been painful. Um, we have the 10 of pentacles in your surroundings in reverse. So I feel like many of you guys have been really doing a lot of work on yourselves. Some of you guys may have, again, left a long-term relationship, and it can be in the recent past. It can be five years ago, 10 years ago, um, but it sort of rocked your world. There was a level of instability that this brought you. You know, you may have thought you met your forever person, and that... Um, you know, and that changed, you know, and that, and, and that was that, that stability was really rocked. Um, for many of you, again, this is a big departure, you know, gemstone tarot. She's one of my favorite readers and I talk about her all the time, but I, I love her interpretation of this card because it's like running away with the circus. So for many of you guys, you know, you're, you know, maybe you're coming into union or you're going after someone or something that isn't what you normally would do. But there's a reason for it because, you know, there's divine counterpart energy here. So this person may not look or act like the normal person that you would date or, you know, maybe maybe you've been somebody who's always been like, you know what, I'm going to be single. You know, I'm not, I don't have time for relationships or I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get married, whatever it might be. But I feel like there's a really big departure from the, from that past thinking or from the type of person that you normally attract. Now, what's blocking you is the two of swords. Again, you got to get out of your head. You have to make a decision. Spirit's really, really sort of nudging you towards your wish fulfillment, Pisces. <laughs> so make a decision. Choose you. You can't choose wrong, right? There's no yes or no in this situation. You know, it's all about our learning experience. But, you know, Spirit's really saying, "We, I want to deliver true love to you, Pisces you know, get out of your own way, you know, just no matter what you do, but you have to move forward here. You have to make a decision. Okay. So I feel like this resistance is really the resistance that you have to receiving something that's really awesome, but it's because you've been in this energy, because you've been learning tough cycles, that it's hard to open up to that. Some of you Pisces, you may have a choice here in love. Okay. So you might have two options. Okay. Uh, or many or more options, even with the seven of cups. But again, you just have to make the choice to move forward because you're going to be really happy, okay? Um, at the base of this reading, we have the temperance energy. So this is about finding balance in your life. Again, some of you may have been single for quite some time. You might have turned yourselves off to love. And Spirit's saying, you know, this is all about healing, okay? And we're healing from this Ten of Swords. So it could be a past breakup. Um, it could be childhood issues. You know, your, your original try and you know how you learned about love from your parents or your guardians um, but there's something here that's being healed and I also feel as if you know there is there is a level of anxiety flanking this reading but I also feel like there's a real you're coming into a partnership or an energy that's going to bring you balance that maybe even you didn't realize that you were missing right it's kind of like you didn't know it until you got a taste of it Okay. And it's sort of, it's, it's triggering. I feel like there's a little bit of a tower moment here. Um, in your recent past, we have the nine of swords. So, um, it's taking me back to the eight of swords and we've got the eight of swords in your past and in your future. Um, this may be, you know, you, this could be either a relationship that's being repaired or rekindled. Um, but I also feel like, I feel like Pisces, you're falling in love again. And there's a tendency that when the feelings, when you catch feelings like this to really second guess it or to go down that rabbit hole, um, you know, of, you know, is it here to stay? Is this for real? Do I really want this? You know, and there's some self-limiting beliefs here that need to be, that need to be worked through. You know, the nine of swords is a dark night of the soul. So I feel like in the recent past, many of you guys experienced this, but you may have, um, you may have pulled your energy back here with the two of swords, like this resistance, because you, you didn't want to make the wrong decision or you weren't sure if you could trust what was coming into you, coming to you. Um, the seven of cups is coming from above. So again, lots of blessings coming your way, but there's also need for grounding. And, you know, spirit wants you to ground and make the right decision that's best for you and open yourself up to love. This is your energy. This is Pisces energy. 
Okay, and then in your future, we have the Eight of Swords. So we do still have that overthinking spirit saying, you know, move away from the self-limiting beliefs. This is also a card of getting a higher perspective. There may be a lot of gossip or you might be worried about other people's opinions or maybe people are giving them to you like unsolicited opinions about your love life or about this person. Spirit's telling you to shut it all out, okay? You might be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo here with the Magician card. Um... You know, and I'm also, you know, when I'm doing this, we're in the sort of the shadow period before Mercury goes retrograde. So it's really just be careful in the next couple of weeks that you're very clear with your communication. Um, don't make too many assumptions because there may be miscommunications here that sort of that might get out of control or send you down sort of a rabbit hole of anxiety. Spirit saying just real, just check that. Just be careful. Be aware of that. Four of Swords, again, you have I feel like you have either pulled back from a particular person or love in general because you are trying to heal whatever this Ten of Swords energy is. Spirit saying it's time to step out. You're manifesting. And what is it that you're manifesting? The lovers, union, a divine counterpart, soulmate. I mean, Pisces. <laughs> I love you guys so much, uh, but you got to get out of your head about this. You've got to get out of your, get out of your own way. And I see that you guys are again, take your time. There's no rush. Let things unfold organically. But you know, the, I'm just, I, there's a lot of anxiety around this because you have been hurt in the past, but spirit wants to, you know, dump blessings on you, you know? So it's like, let's be open to receiving it. And it's not going to look like, oh, it's not going to look like love that you've known before. Okay, this is very different, but I do feel like there are certain things that are being triggered within. And so you're, you're going to feel like, am I repeating a pattern here? Am I repeating? And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, I think you've done a lot of work here to make sure that doesn't happen. So I do feel like, you know, you are guarded. Okay. Um, so you get Take the Lead, Three of Wands. So this may be a relationship that's at a distance. Um, but again, I feel like many of you guys, you've been doing this inner work and the up leveling and you just, you deserve this, you know, and spirit saying, step up, you know, no more sitting in the wings or waiting for this to happen. Like it's also, it's like, you need to know that you deserve this. Okay. Moving on. Somebody may be coming back to you. Eight of cups in reverse. Again, it may be a person. It could be just those feelings of vulnerability that come with you know, falling in love with someone. Look at that. We get the four of swords in reverse as well. Just breathe. Somebody's coming out of the shadows. It may be you. Um, maybe you guys were on a break with this person. Okay. But something is coming back to you. Someone's coming towards you or you are being asked to move towards someone because I think there's also, there's this energy of, you know, no more resistance. It's time to go for what you want. Okay, and then we get the seven of swords in reverse. So getting clarity. Um, some of you guys, there may have been something that was hidden from you. Um, and again, it could also be the fact that you want love or you want this relationship or your true feelings are really coming up to the surface. And you may have pulled back for a while. Okay, when, you know, when because of the intensity here and a fear of getting hurt, it could also be your person. I mean, somebody may be coming back into your life to say, Pisces, look, <laughs> I, I effed up. Okay, I want back in. Will you forgive me? You know, and you getting the clarity on how they really feel. Because again, it could be a reconciliation. But either way, Pisces, it's super positive energy. Okay, look at that. The three of swords in reverse. Regret, healing, apologies. For many of you, this is absolutely a reconciliation. Okay, for others of you, you're just healing. Anything negative associated with your love life. And you're calling in this divine counterpart, this soulmate energy. Ooh, no place like home. Somebody wants to come home, Pisces. <laughs> it could be you. It could be your person. Again, you feel like home to each other. Absolutely. Some of you may be traveling home, moving home. But I'm getting that this is the home that you experience when you're in each other's arms, when you kiss each other, you know, when you hold each other, when you look into each other's eyes. And milk and honey, Pisces. <laughs> 51 breaks down to a six. This is the best card in this deck. This is creating heaven on earth. This is your own personal paradise right on top of the lover's card. So you have 666 coming out, you guys. Um, beautiful, beautiful angel number there. Love, compassion, healing, harmony, total bliss. All right, actually, that's not the deck I want to use. We'll get messages of love. 
Pisces, this is actually like the sweetest energy I'm picking up on. And the milk and honey, I mean, seriously, guys, look at that. Look at that. Oh, Pisces, I just want to like, you know, I just want to come and hug you guys. Somebody's coming back. This could be a relationship. It could be a past person. Um, or it's just this energy of love. If many of you, I'm feeling like some of you guys decided like, okay, I don't want to do love anymore. I don't want to do relationships. They suck. And then all of a sudden it's like, Oh wait, who are you? What's this feeling? Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself and another will help you move forward. Look at that. And we get past life love. Definitely picking up on that. So for many of you guys, you're forgiving yourselves. But many of you guys, this is absolutely reconciliation. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Yeah, so don't worry, Pisces. They want you as bad as you want them. And we get obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And we see that, but we see you in the energy of trying to do that. And again, that's where we're picking up on that anxiety around the situation because it is triggering, you know, the sense of vulnerability, a sense of fear, whether it's commitment or whether it's with this particular person or whether it's just like inviting love back into your life. But Pisces, I kind of feel like you don't even have a choice here. <laughs> I feel like it's just, you know, it's coming in whether you want it or not. And I feel like somebody absolutely is rushing towards you or somebody wants to come home. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. Okay, that can be your energy or this person's energy. Retreat. Okay, it's time to disconnect from the world. So I do feel like, you know, there could be, again, this for many of you, this may be a... Um, uh, this may be a reconciliation situation where you guys kind of parted ways, but I, and I feel like there were a lot of red flags and there were a lot of triggers for you, whether this is a past person or this is a new energy. So it's really important here that you, you know, you heal old wounds. Okay. And you might, you might retreat or pull back your energy in order to do that. But spirit's like, okay, but you know, but don't miss this opportunity, basically. Yeah, honeymoon. And honeymoon and retreat. Oh my goodness. Some of you guys, you know, Aquarius got a very similar energy. But what I'm picking up on in February, um, a lot of you guys are going to be, you know, holding yourself up with this person for like, you know, hours or days at a time, just being with each other, making love, talking, laughing, you know, and just, just you guys quieting the noise, you know, just getting back to who you are you know, as a couple and expressing, you know, those deepest, most intimate parts of yourselves to each other. And I love that. All right. So yeah, look at this. We get the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. So whether this is a reconciliation, guys, or whether it's, you know, you ju you've just been hurt, brought to your knees, even by love in the past, Spirit saying, you know what, we've healed that. Forgive yourself, move forward, because there's absolutely something amazing and blissful waiting for you. Okay, so I hope you guys found clarity and guidance in these messages. I love you so much. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a beautiful day. Take care.